Hello everyone! Today I wanted to share the Orihara Izaya Psychedelic Version 1A scale figure produced by Alter. Um, now I'm really happy that Alter actually decided to make alternate versions of the characters. Psyche is really cool and I just love the way this figure looks. I mean look at this box, it's freaking gorgeous. Of course uh, they have music notes on it. I'm gonna bring this a little closer just because I know there's a big glare. Hopefully you can see it a little better. But see there are music notes scattered across it and they have this like you know music little squares going on on it as well and it's just such a beautiful design and i'm glad that they you know are doing these clear boxes they're so nice and they really do a very good a great job for you know, presenting the characters i'm hoping that we get the other variants as well i'd love to see sugaru next hopefully and of course i'd like to see Delic to go along with, uh, you know, the psychedelic Isaiah version, oh, it's this way. And Hibaya. Because that'd just be a really great figure to see it. I real also really like Alter to create um, other characters as well, not just Shizu, Isaiah, and Selty. I'm hoping that we eventually get Selty's husband, because Shigeru is my favorite, but we'll see how that goes. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and open this figure so we can take a closer look. Oh, it has it on the sides as well. Of course it does. There. The only downside of clear packaging is that the way it bends is not very great. Here is Isaiah in his clear packaging. He looks freaking stunning. This this figure is so beautiful. I'm just I'm just a little you know it's saddening that there's gonna be a metal pole sticking out of him but i'll try to find a way to hide it um i have the same problem with yato but you know the five yen coin method works really well with him i'm gonna try to figure out what to use for psyche now anyway i'm gonna go ahead and pop him out of the box and he does have a bit of tape so let me cut that off Okay, so let's take a closer look at the parts. Here is the base. And it's a simple base. I do like it a lot. It just says Orihara Isaya Psychedelic Version around it. It's clear and pink. And I do like it. It's simplistic. It's nice. Um, even if it doesn't have a lot going on for it, I still think it's a very nice base for this figure. The clear pink version is nice. And the thing I love the most about the base is the pull for it. You can see instead of making this part at the bottom, the plastic that attaches to the base a different color, they made it the same color. That's always great. That's something that unfortunately a lot of price figures do not do, but this is an altar scale. You can expect a little more. Let's take a closer look at Isaiah himself, or Psyche, I should say. I'm going to bring this back here a little closer. And I'm using this instead of the back of the box just because it's plastic and super shiny. But anyway, hopefully this focuses. He does have some plastic on his arms. I think that's the only plastic he has. But here he is. They, of course, use the renewal face instead of the old face. This is reflective of Durara Season 2, 
That's why the face sculpts were a little different in the renewal version. The detailing on his fur is very nice. I really like it. Alter always says nice hands. The fingernails are shiny. Well, you're not going to be able to see it in the camera. But they're nice and shiny like they did with their free figures. And of course the other Dudarara figures that they have released. The flow of his clothing is very beautiful. You can see the way his jacket billows in the wind. And there are nice folds on it. Alter oh, really does a top-notch job. There is a little hole right there that must be for the cord of his headphones. And Psyche's signature jacket, of course. It's very nice. Very nice detail, which I hope focuses Otis. Is that it says psychedelic on his boxers. That is so cool. They're peeking out like this, these little gray boxers that say psychedelic. I really hope they release Delic. Ah, uh, that'd be so beautiful to have together. There are no paint flaws at all on this figure. He is fantastic. Here are his shoes. They're just some simple shoes, but that's the kind of character that Psyche is. So I'm very, very happy that they did such a nice job. Of course, they have some nice folds on the pants as well. There are his pockets. Of course, that's where the zipper is. Oh, and here are more details on the shirt. See, it's tucked in a little bit, but then it comes out right here. It exposes the boxers. That's just such a great detail. Alter does such a good job. He has his headphones, of course. Oh gosh, he's just so freaking stunning. I can't stop looking at this figure, but I do need to move on to the other parts as well. The last part of the figure is just his headphone cord here. And of course they have a little heart thing going on there. It's very cute. And here is his like iPod or music playing device. It's just a simple little square with pink on it, but that's fine. And here are like some buttons on top of it here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this figure together and we're gonna take a closer look at him. Oh, the hole connects right here at the jacket it has a chunkier piece right here, see? Then uh, it's thinner here. And then it has a chunkier piece of fabric here. Instead of going in like his back or something like that, they connected it on the jacket. Um, it is thicker plastic here, as I mentioned, than these parts of the jacket. I don't know, it's still a little worrying though for it to be the only support, but it's not a heavy figure, so I hope it's not a problem in the future. Okay, so I had a little difficult time getting his... Um, you know headphones in and honestly um, I decided to take a little break from doing so and it's always important to take a little break if you're having trouble putting something in a figure together just because uh, it, they are delicate pieces and if you get frustrated and do it while you're in that state sometimes you know you might accidentally break the figure so I didn't want to do that what well, let me show you the instructions you can see what I mean what I had trouble with see I didn't notice this before, but hiding in his little fur on, on his jacket, the hood of the jacket, is a little hole. And you're supposed to stick the first part of the headphone piece in there. You're supposed to stick the second part piece in the back where I showed you guys earlier, right there. And that's there, um, you of course put his little, you know, um, iPod in his hand. And there's also a uh, where I don't know if it shows it, but there's one on here right here on his foot. So there, are, these are all the places where you put his things in. Oh, and apparently I'm not. I don't have this in right. Whoops. <laughs> Just push it in all the way. Okay. All right. So let me show you what I did wrong. So everything in it else is in how it should be, but I couldn't get this piece here to go in the first hole of the jacket. Um, I'll do that a little later though. 
I do want to show you guys the hole just so you can see it. It's just like it shows it on the picture. Um, it's right, right there, hiding right there on the on the fur of the jacket. It's it's very expertly hidden because then you see the immediately after that there's like a cord going up to attach the headphones behind the ear. So that's just such a great great way they did that. I'm just having trouble getting it in right now. I'll get it in later. Of course, there's also the one on the back of the jacket that I showed you earlier, which I had no problems getting in. And I tried doing it in order, one, two, three, like to have it on the pictures, but um, whatever I did, it didn't work, so. And uh, right now, he's just kind of chilling incorrectly. Here's the, um, the foot one, and I'm okay with this for now. I'll fix it a bit later, like I mentioned. But let's take a look at the overall figure, like fully put together. I really think it's really cute the way they did the wiring because it's, you know, a little heart shape. Here, let's zoom in. Okay, so see, it's such a beautiful um, figure. turnaround and I'm still a little concerned about the fact that it is all supported on a jacket it seems he seems to be doing okay though um, I hope that he stays okay over time and I'll just have to figure out a creative way to hide this I'm not sure uh, what I'm gonna do maybe I'll put some I'll try to find um, you know some oh gosh I can't think of the word speakers or something to scale this is Psyche, so something music related that looks like it's 1A scale. Just to put it in front of here, maybe under him. I think that might be a good idea. Maybe I saw someone had like a, on my figure collection, they had a smaller Psyche prize figure and they had that to hide the pole. So I am going to just think of ways to hide it. Um, I think I like the speaker idea best. I'll put some like music stuff around him. I'll just need to find something that sells it. Maybe I'll buy like one of the Sonico figures, a price figure, just so I, I can get the, that material for it. And uh, I, don't, I don't really know what I'll do with Sonico, but I want her things. <laughs> I do recommend him. He's a beautiful figure. There are no paint flaws. The um, altar is always on point with their sculpts. I hope you guys have a great day and see you later. Bye!